I'm Sara Sjöström, a professional swimmer from Sweden. I really had talent for swimming from the beginning. I was quite tall and quite naturally strong. I was never really scared to compete. It didn't matter who I was racing, I was just like going for the win no matter what. It was very exciting to, to prepare for the Olympics in Rio because I, I kept winning almost every race I did <laughs> and I felt unstoppable in training and in the racing so it was very exciting times. But obviously the expectations for myself and outside were enormous. I didn't want to come home without that gold medal in the 100 fly. It was not the first time I felt the pressure, it was not the first time I felt nervous for a race, but I'm very, very proud uh, with how I handled this really hard situation. I was able to win and also break the world record and also I won two other medals. It was amazing uh, to be able to do that. I always try to find new challenges and uh, I try to make it harder for myself all the time. When I started this journey I only did one or two events when I went to competition and then like World Champs 2019 I did five individual events which is crazy hard because you have to do prelims, semi-final and final. So that's one kind of challenge I, I like to take. The pandemic was terrible for the, the whole world. The Olympics was postponed uh, one year, 2021, when I was supposed to start racing again, finally. I, <laughs> I accidentally slipped on ice and broke my elbow and had to do a surgery. The first three weeks after my surgery, I couldn't be in the water. I tried to just focus on everything I can do instead of focusing on everything I can't do. I could go on the, the bike, some hard uh, gym sessions for my legs. I just took baby steps every week and then I was able to come back. I didn't know if I was able to, but I felt like I had to try at least. I made a final in all my individual events. I did my best time in one on the fly. Uh, I've done for like four years, so it was much over my expectations. When it came to 53, I felt like I had to do everything uh, possible, like always. I managed to win a silver in the 53, which I'm very, very proud of. It's, it almost feels unreal that I was able to come back. I was surprised how I handled the, the whole situation mentally. Sometimes I can be very frustrated about my result because of this injury. It made me more relaxed somehow and I try to go back to that feeling. If I was not an athlete, I would still try to find something that challenged myself in, a, in some way, uh, mentally or physically. Uh, I think it's very important. We'll see after swimming what kind of challenge I will find. I'll, I will find out that after I finish my swimming career. Yeah, I don't know when. <laughs>